Based on true events inspired by the legend of Mothman. December 10th, 1967. I got a letter that said, Come home, Caleb. Under the starlit sky, the cowboy sings. The name on the envelope said, Joseph Dupstring. My dad's name. The strange thing was, my dad died a few weeks ago. I had avoided going back to our farmhouse after his death, but that letter shook me to my core. It was time to finally go back home. December 15th, 1967. I found myself driving to my childhood home in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, after swearing I'd never go back. Oh wow, look at that pretty sky! We have a note. Dear Caleb, F to use flashlight. Tab brings up inventory. Okay, dear Caleb. Oh, there's no read thing, so I'm going to have to read this. All right. Dear Caleb, I hope you're doing well. As you requested, I've obtained your father's autopsy report and took it to the farmhouse. None of the farmhands were there at the time, so I slid it under the front door. After the autopsy, your father's body was transported to Gray Vale Funeral Home, where he had a plot purchased. I spoke with their staff, and they said once you get into town, you can call them and schedule a time to make arrangements for the funeral. I left their business card for you, too. I am sorry for your loss. Joe was a friend of mine. He was a good man and loved you very much. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Robert T. Wilson, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. All right, December 13th, 1967. We'll put the note back, I guess. Hello? Hello, good sir? It was late when I arrived and the farmhands would surely be gone for the day. Established 1903, Point Pleasant, West Virginia, Dew Spring Farm, farm fresh produce and dairy. We bake pies too. I'm hearing some weird noises. I'm hearing some strange screeching. I'm hearing strange screeching, dude. I don't like it. I should be the only one here, right? There shouldn't be anybody else. God, I walk so slow. Hold shift to walk faster. What about run, dude? I need to be able to run from Mossman. turned in knots. I hadn't set foot in that place in six years. Not since the falling out I had with my dad. My flashlight doesn't seem to be working at all. I'm sorry, my gaslight. My gaslight isn't really doing anything. I guess we're just gonna go into the house. Ooh, there's a note. What does this say? Sunny's farming supply. Okay, just buying a bunch of chicken feed, hay bales, fertilizer, serving the community since 1953. It's actually not that long considering it's, what was it, 1967 right now? Bring, bring, motherfuckers. Why would I be ringing a doorbell when nobody's home? The front door was locked. I knew Dad kept a spare key in the shed somewhere. Spare key in the shed somewhere, huh? Okay. Is the shed around back, I assume? It is so dark. Oh, my flashlight does have an effect. It's just, okay. The fuck is that radio talking about cosmic consciousness? Man, a flashlight really does not help, dude. <laughs> I need a brightness setting. Okay, Icarus, hydraulic aerosol spray, okay. Hello? It is so fucking dark, dude. I need to find something to help me pry the boards off. Damn straight I do. There's some weird radio playing back there even though my dad died a long time ago. The hell's going on? All right, we have the crowbar. We got the, look at that inventory. Hell yeah, dude, pry it off. There we go. Get those boards out of here. We're on the precipice of cosmic consciousness? What the fuck is this guy talking about? Open, open. Why was this boarded up? I'm gonna close this. Once we get in here, I don't want Mothman sneaking up on us. Uh, okay, what is this? I can't read what that says, dude. It's like something written on a napkin, but there's no like... Who was dad talking about? He was paranoid about something. 
Unfortunately, I checked settings and stuff. There's no read button, so like I can't tell what that says. Who are they? I don't know yet, but I think they're closing in on me. Should I be more careful? Maybe I can... Oh my god. I can't really tell. Okay, hold up. I can't... Should I be more careful? Maybe I can something, something off. Make it harder for them to figure out what I'm doing. I'll... Sh I'll start by boarding up the shed. Okay, god, that's so hard to read. It's weird that the radio signal stopped when I was in here. Like, I didn't turn the radio off at first. It just stopped. Man, this is the weakest gaslight I have ever experienced in my life, dude. I need a new flashlight. We're gonna have some Mothman encounters, aren't we? What kind of rocks are those, dude? I, I thought we in West Virginia. That's not a mountain. It's just some rock. I thought of walking into our house and seeing my dad sitting on the couch, watching his favorite television program kept creeping into my mind. That thought was crush. The reality of it. Dude, I don't like this at all. Ugh. It's too, we're too isolated out here, man. Use right mouse button to use keys. Okay. I hear that. I hear that, Mothman. Why is everything so... Can we turn on lights? Yeah, I was about to say. Flip the lights on. Dude, even the lights suck ass, man. Come on, dude. We need to... Uh, the horror devs, this is for you. Please the brighten up your mess. games a little. What the hell happened? Just a little. I know that darkness is scary, that was a painter, but... But I'd never seen that one before. Why did it remind me of something? Then I remembered the note he sent. Under the starlit sky, the cowboy sings. What the hell did it all mean? Under the starlit sky, the cowboy sings. Painting was screwed into the wall, but it was loose. Oh, I need to find a screwdriver. Okay. It's a lot of boxes and stuff. Like, who packed up all of Dad's stuff when he died? Wouldn't it just be My normal? Family. We were in a car accident when I was eight. My mom, grandma, and grandpa died. My dad had to work really hard to keep the farm afloat after that. Oh, that's really fucking sad, dude. Sorry to hear that, man. There's so many boxes and stuff here. Can I go? Okay, I could go up that way. Let's check downstairs first. We're looking for a screwdriver. We have like a utility closet or something. Good God. Yes, light switches. We could definitely use some light because my flashlight, absolutely terrible. Oh my God. I knew my dad was a drinker, but he never abused it. Damn, he lost all control. Maybe he lost control because something was going on. I thought about calling Caleb, telling him I'm selling the last of the animals. He was attached to them and took pride in making sure they were taken care of. I've decided not to call though. What the hell am I gonna do with all those supplies I bought? I hate to admit it, but I'm avoiding Mitchell's cause. I don't have time to deal with that. I have interviews lined up with a few witnesses this week. October 6th, 1967. All the animals are gone. I needed to find Fred, farmhand supervisor and get some answers. Can I call somebody? I don't need to make a call this late at night. All right, what is this? Is a paper? Blueberry pie recipe. After we harvested blueberries, mom would make pie. Oh, that's sad. Is that like a legit recipe? I can't really read that. One piece of feedback I have right now, I'm really liking the atmosphere in this game. It's playing very smoothly, running smooth. Definitely getting a little creeped out. But we definitely need like uh, like an R button to like read and have like legible text pop up on screen to read notes. I really like the design of the notes and everything, but who would call so late at night? They're hard to read. Bring bring telephono. Hello. 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 the fuck was that did the generator just go out is that what that was what damn 
The power had gone out before I could find out who that was. I don't like that, dude. I would have to find a way to turn the power back on. That sounded like a generator powering down or something. That's weird. Normally your power, unless you're on a generator, which 67, would they be on a generator? Did they have generators back then like that for like farmhouses and stuff? Well, that's fucking creepy. That's creepy as shit, dude. Look at that old man right there. That's creepy. I don't like any of this, dude. Oh, man. I hate... I mean, Mothman's not going to be in the house, right? He's going to be outside. Bathroom? Hello? Hello? Clarence? I don't know. Clarence just sounded like an old-timey name to me. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Every door is locked. Oh, no, it's not. God, dude. All right. I'm officially... <sighs> I'm creeped out. I can't... I can't open that. I don't like it. <laughs> ah! Who is that? Who the fuck is that? Ah! His face, dude. What was that? I didn't like fuck? that. Was I imagining things? Who was that man? He didn't move, but I got the impression that he was pointing towards the backyard. So definitely don't go out in the backyard. I mean, it's not that hard, dude. Don't go into the backyard. Why would we go into the backyard? What a weird man with a weird we face. We find the farmhand manager, Fred. No, we don't. He was the only farmhand that lived on the grounds. No, we don't. He had a cabin near the barn. No, we don't. We ain't need to find shit, bro. I could have sworn the door to the backyard was closed. It absolutely was. It absolutely was. I'm not going there right now. We're uh, we're closing that and we're going upstairs. I ain't going outside. These people are fucking crazy, dude. These people are fucking crazy. I'm gonna go upstairs. Table turned over. Please tell me. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm getting away from this shit right now. I'll tell you right now, dude. I ain't doing it. I'm going upstairs. That door wasn't there before. What? What? Huh? That totally was not there. Now there's a fence there blocking it? What the shit, dude? So I'm forced to go outside? I don't want to do that, man. I need a screwdriver anyway to open the painting. I don't want to do this. I don't like that encounter with that guy gave me just... Oh, it gave me chills. I don't like it. It almost feels like I know it's not, but well, maybe it is. We don't know what the fuck he, uh, Mothman is, but I got like, oh, I got like fucking uh, like, is it aliens? Is it aliens, dude? What is this book? This was my favorite book growing up. There once was a two-headed oracle who sensed an impending curse on the land. The Sphinx called upon the luck dragon for guidance during the troubling times ahead. The dragon told the Sphinx to go see the three wise sages. The sages are wise, but delight in treacherous deceit. Seek their wisdom with caution, said the dragon. What will we gain in return? Asked the sages in unison. The Sphinx oracle said, as seers, we are but servants to all kind, and our reward is to assure the prosperity of every being. The sages gave the Sphinx three gems and said, use them wisely. Do we need three gems? Is that what that's trying to tell us? We need three gems for a puzzle, maybe? Oh, well, that door is open. Okay, that's totally normal. I don't want to go in the back. Like, I don't want to go back here, dude. Outside is Mothman territory. And I'm scared. Oh, we got a note. Uh, May 13th, 1962. It's been over a year since he's been gone, and I haven't talked to him once. When he got married a few months ago, his wife was the one to call me and break the news. She said Caleb doesn't want anything to do with me, but she thinks a father should know about his own son's marriage, so that's why she called. Aw. So him and his father had a falling out? But why? What do I need to ring the bells for? I don't know what that does, except maybe let the farmhand dude know that I'm home. I don't like any of this, dude. It's way too wide open, way too big of an area for Mothman just to like swoop down on me here. Hello? God, I, dude, I really wish I had a better flashlight for real. This is horrible. 
There are trees and stuff. The smell in the backyard brought back memories of my grandpa. We spent a lot of time in the garden together. What does this do? Well, I don't like that. I don't fucking like that, dude. Am I supposed to ring all three of these? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Is that what the book was talking about? Not only was my dad a painter, but he was also a skilled craftsman. He built a gazebo with his bare hands. Did he now? That's pretty, that's pretty fancy. What does this say? Joe, the reset lever should be working per your request, Fred. The reset lever should be working. That's what that is? Okay, do I have to determine what order to pull these in? So I just reset that. There's a lock here. We got to get into the gazebo. Um, here's the third one. Okay. So we have to determine what order to pull these in. March 20th, 1965. Things sure have fallen apart in just a matter of a few years. The good memories in this garden are one of the things keeping me sane. My dad built this garden with his bare hands for my mom. It was his wedding gift to her when they w moved in. I can picture Caleb playing out here when he was just a toddler, rolling around in the dirt, making mud pies, and playing hide-and-seek. Aww. Okay. How do I know what order to pull them in? I guess maybe just... Start pulling them in different orders, right? This is gonna attract Mothman. For sure. Actually, you know what? It's probably that one. And then this one. And then the one over here, right? How did I know? I didn't. I just guessed. <laughs> I guessed it wouldn't go in one, two, three, like forward order or reverse order exactly. So then I figured, yeah, I just made it up. I think maybe that 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 fairy tale book thing or whatever was something to do with it, before. but. It looked like it was missing pieces. Looked like it was missing pieces. Three phases of the moon. Okay. Oh, hey. Square object added to inventory? What do I do with the square object? Looked like it was missing pieces, huh? So where do I take this now? So two crescent moons and a full moon? Huh. I gotta go back inside, I guess, to use this? That's locked. Yeah, the gate leading to the barn was chained and locked. Okay. I can I... I swear to God, I just heard footsteps behind me. So, obviously, this square piece that I picked up, square object that I have in my inventory, goes somewhere, right? I don't think it goes anywhere out here. The only thing I could think is back in the house, like, to where we tried to go upstairs and a door was there all of a sudden. But that was like a keyhole, I thought. Maybe, maybe it goes there. I don't think there's anywhere else that I can go, but we're, we're about to check. Oh, there's a vase or a vase, how, however you want to call it. What is one of mom's prized vases she collected anything of made of porcelain okay that's something the flooring is eroding there and the walls super dirty that's not right all right let's go see I, I i really can't think of anywhere else oh it is this is the key and those three things represent the moon phases that also are tied to the puzzle outside in the gazebo. I didn't understand why my dad had let everything fall to ruin. It was unlike him. Maybe I could find answers upstairs. Time to Die by Ben Omar. Well, that's an ominous fucking book. Holy shit, dude. I don't think I would buy a book named Time to Die. Hello? There was a strange man outside in a black suit. What does ringing all the bells do? That has to have a purpose, right? Maybe this is a demo. Maybe the bells play into something in the full game. I can't get back there. Oh, hey, you opened all the way. And that door's locked. Okay, lovely. We got to go into the creepy area over here. Hello? Hello? 
Oh, it's Mothman, November 1966. Exact date unknown. There's a picture of the witness. Oh, that is a that is a 60s haircut for sure. A woman, her brother, and her three-year-old daughter were driving near the TNT area. They were visiting relatives in that area. They got out of the car in front of their relative's house. Her brother went inside. The woman carrying her daughter saw a creature in the woods near the house. It paralyzed her, and the two fell to the ground. As soon as she regained the ability to move, she scooped up her daughter, ran inside, and called the police. Composite sketch from the witness statement drawn at the police station. Yeah, this actually lines up very well with the legend around Mothman. So Mothman is supposed to be just this black, dark figure, tall and imposing, humanoid looking, except for the wings and maybe the face. The face is always undescribable, except for one feature, which is these big bright red eyes that are hypnotic and if you look at them or stare at Mothman too long the eyes kind of like draw you in and you can't really fully discern its face and there are reports that it it yeah it has a paralyzing effect on you or just kind of makes you like lose sight and mind and track of everything else around you and just kind of pulls you in almost like puts you under a spell and so then people can never fully describe like all of the features of mothman except exactly what i just went over so that picture right there is very very reminiscent of a lot of descriptions of mothman i also want to point out too it says near the tnt area so the original story goes that there were two couples driving in an area outside of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, and they saw a Mothman on the side of the road. And then when they saw it, they started to speed away and it followed them screeching after them. And the area that they saw it was this area called TNT area where I think like a former military munitions plant used to be located. And they basically like kept driving as fast as they could to get away from Mothman chasing them until they reached the city limits or the town limits of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. And so that's kind of the original story. So it's nice that this book here is calling back to that. All right. Let's see what else awaits us here. My old room. Oh, it's my childhood room. Look at that. I played big. This top story weighs heavily on the residents of Point Pleasant. A local farmer, identified as Joseph Dewspring, was discovered dead in the McClintic Wildlife Management Area yesterday afternoon. Could this incident be linked to the recent sightings of a winged, red-eyed creature? We spoke with the local reporter who interviewed an eyewitness who told their story. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me again today. So when was the last time you saw it? It came back last night. It, it was standing in the woods near the barn tall black figure. I couldn't make out any details except for the big red eyes. I was in a trance, completely paralyzed, and then I blacked out. Yeah, that's a common report too, is like people see Mothman, and if they're not directly like where he can get them specifically, they kind of just become hypnotized and then black out or pass out and then wake up. Who knows? All right. So the implication there is that my father was potentially killed by Mothman, right? April 19th, 1967. The deeper I dig, the more I feel I'm being watched. Building my little contraptions helps keep things safe and will throw them off. I never thought being a tinkerer would come in handy. So his dad liked to build things and he was building little contraptions to throw them off. I don't know what that means though. And who's they? Locked. There's a small moon-shaped hole above the door, so we need like we need the the moon pieces that go in the big puzzle outside. I'm gonna ring these. I don't know exactly what they do, but you know. Hello. Room in grandpa's room was disheveled, unrecognizable. What was Dad doing in here? This is a place where he was building everything. This is where he was uh, making stuff to throw off the uh, strange man in the black suit with the weird face. Oh my god. This looks like a full-on board of crazy, right? But I like it. What does it say? November 1st, 1966. First sighting of the Mothman. An anonymous picture of so of a soldier? It says, note to self, reach out to the National Guardsman partner to see if he's willing to be interviewed. Is he? Did he see it? 
Red-eyed creature reported in West Virginia. Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Two Point Pleasant couples spoke with police about their horrifying encounter on Wednesday at midnight. Their car was chased by a bird-like creature six to seven feet in height with red eyes and a 10-foot wingspan. They told Mason County Sheriff's deputies they were driving near the McClintic Wildlife Reserve when they encountered the thing. Its glowing red eyes had a hypnotic-like effect that captivated them while at the same time imposed dread and sorrow into them. Flying at them 100 miles an hour, it flapped its wings and a clumsy men noted that it had only been him that blah, 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 but there were four of them. All right, so that's a callback to the original very first Mothman sighting and how it played out. November 15th, two couples drive through the TNT area and see the Mothman. All right, uh, North Power Plant, Ammonia Oxidation Plants, Sulfuric Acid Buildings, Bunkers, South Power Plant. I wonder if they're going to tie the Mothman origin story and everything into like some sort of, you know, something to do with the TNT area and the munitions plant and it like... I don't know, warping a person into this creature or thing or some kind of military experiments or government thing going on, right? November 2nd, 1966, Warren's encounter with a strange man linked to Mothman. What is that a picture of? Is that a picture of like a ship or something? Oh, dude, November 17th, 66, November 18th. What does this say? Timeline thus far, November 1st, 1967, a National Guardsman on duty saw a large creature perched high on a tree above a fence bordering the base. November 2nd, 1967, the very next day, a traveling salesman sees a flying saucer and encounters a strange man. November 2nd, 1967, man spots UFO, encounters a strange man. The man asked him questions. Who are you? What time is it? Ooh, chills, dude. November 12th, 1967, five witnesses were digging a grave in Clendime, West Virginia. They allegedly saw a figure lift off into the trees above. November 14th, 1967, a farmer's dog was barking at a large creature with reflective red eyes. November 15th, 1967, two young couples drove up to the TNT area and were chased by the Mothman. November 27th, 1967, a local woman encountered the Mothman. She got too close to it and the creature's red eyes disoriented her. She became paralyzed, then blacked out. She woke up with severe pain in her eyes. She was diagnosed with conjunctivitis. This is groundbreaking, the first case of trace evidence. So there, are they saying that Mothman gave her conjunct an eye infection, basically, is what that is? November 27th, 1966, uh, she contracted junctivitis after seeing Mothman. Flying saucers, NUFO, Network of Unidentified Flying Object Witnesses magazine. Fact or fiction, plus Mothman terrorizing a small town in West Virginia. Okay. I can't read that. Why can't I pick up that note there? See a dog looking out. Another note there I can't read. Mothman sighting. Oh, dude. November 14th, a farmer in the next town over saw the Mothman. Wow. What else is on here? We got any other notes or anything here? What was good old dad doing? I won't be able to listen without a tape player. There's a tape player right there. Caleb. There's a chance I may be gone when you find this recording. I'm sorry for how things turned out, but there are weird things going on. Start by checking the bookshelf downstairs under the vase. There's a key to the side shed. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. Hearing my dad's voice brought a tear to my eye, but my grieving was short-lived. Things were only getting stranger, and I had more questions than answers. Yeah, I have a lot of questions, dude. It seems like Moth, the implication is Mothman is like has something to do with aliens or a strange time traveling man or something to do with a government cover up or conspiracy. I don't know. Shit is getting super weird and I love it. That's fantastic, dude. All right, back downstairs under mom's vase. Right? Is what we need to do. I'm having this weird visual glitch. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my mouse is popping up on the left side of my screen when I turn left. It's not happening when I'm turning right. Never had that happen before. I tried a bunch to fix it, which won't be in the video. Just know I tried and it's not working. So this is a demo though. So it might be, it might be something like that. 
Shed key. All right, so we got to go out to the shed. All right, I got a feeling now that we've got this key and we're heading back outside, I got a feeling we're about to have our first Mothman encounter here pretty soon. Ooh, there's a tape. I want to listen. I finally found someone who believes me. A journalist here in town named Mary. She wrote a story in the local paper about a group of witnesses who told their story to the Point Pleasant Police Department. News of the Mothman has gone global because of that story. I told her I wanted to help, and she suggested I buy a tape player and record all my findings. We're going to get to the bottom of this, damn it. Huh, so Dad is deep into what is going on with Mothman and the theory or conspiracies around it. All right, can I open this door, please? We gotta go back out to that locked shed, and I assume Mothman is gonna pay us a visit here when we do that, dude. Oh, man. I am... I'm scared. <laughs> All right. Shed key. Let's get in here. We're closing the door. We don't want Mothman coming up behind us and hypnotizing us. You gotta be smart, dude. I keep forgetting... Yeah, my flashlight's on. I keep thinking my flashlight is off because it's so freaking dim, but it's not. We got another tape. Uh, okay. And we have a key. I'm gonna pick up this stuff first before we listen to the tape. Tape's probably gonna have some revelations for us. Basement key. Okay, we gotta go down to the basement. What is this? A rope, metal, handle, reset lever on gazebo reset from reset. Pull. Oh, this tells you the order of what to pull to get into the gazebo. I've already done that, though. Oh! I saw a bright light in the sky over the barn tonight. As much as I want Mary and I to get answers, I'm scared of actually encountering this man. I'm coming up with different ways to keep intruders out and away from my findings. The man's face is just wrong, right? Like, it's like almost like a Joker smile, but not... I don't even know how to... It's, it's terrifying is what it fucking is. He's creepy. He's creepy as shit, dude. The flying object was described as oval in shape and bright silver. A panel running along the length of the craft emitted a warm light. The man came out of a door in the middle. Did he now? Okay. Trinity, fallen leaves. Oh my God. I happened to come across a rerun of a television interview. A man named Warren said that on November 2nd, 1966, he was on an isolated road when a gigantic unidentified flying object landed in front of his car. The door on the object opened and a man wearing a black suit stepped out. Now, I don't know if this is just a coincidence or not, but the day Warren had this encounter was exactly one day after the sighting of the Mothman by the National Guardsman. Are these two incidents somehow linked? I need to bring this up to Mary. I'll gather as much information as I can and present it to her. Warren's encounter reminded me of the man I saw in the window. The thought of seeing him again sent a chill down my spine. I tried to shake it off. There was no way. I must have imagined that. All right, so we got a basement key. So the basement has to be somewhere back in the house, right? I can't believe Mothman hasn't attacked us while we've been outside yet. It's kind of disconcerting. I feel like the game or this demo is saving up for like a big encounter here near the end of it. Is this the basement? No, I actually don't know where the basement's at. I'm going to assume it's not upstairs. It's probably around in this hallway over here with all those locked doors. Why did the lights flash? How the hell was the phone ringing? What the fuck? The power had gone out. What the fuck was going on? Well, if this is in the 60s, landlines didn't re rely on the house power, right? Or at least I don't think they did back then. Hello? 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 Does Joe live here? It was that son of a bitch from the window. I am a searcher. I need to speak with him. I needed to find a way to turn the power back on so I could call the police. I am the searcher. I need to speak with him. Joe's dead. Shouldn't you know that? It's fucking creepy, dude. Okay. 
I'm gonna... It's not out there. I kind of don't want to go back outside now that that guy said that. I probably shouldn't have left the door open. Is this the basement? That's not the basement. Where's the basement, dude? The basement's gotta be... This has gotta be the basement? This is the basement. Oh, fuck this. Okay, I'm gonna end up brightening Dad this footage. Come down here. He was always messing with the pipes and valves. I'm gonna end up brightening this footage and making it pop a little more in the edit for you guys, but I want you to know that it is almost unbearably dark down here. Like, I can barely see anything. So I'm sure in post you might be like, oh, oh, Skilly, Skilly, you missed this. I. I can't fucking see. <laughs> Even with the flashlight on, it is so dark down here. Oh, but with the magic of editing, it won't be that. It won't be as dark for you guys. What is the? Okay, here we go. Uh, July tenth, nineteen sixty one. Maybe Caleb needs some space to clear his head. I respect his decision, but damn, do I miss him. I just hope him and Grace are doing all right. At least I still have the farm hands to keep me company and help with running this place. All right. One of my sources connected me with a man in the National Guard. The man asked to remain anonymous. He was reluctant to tell me his story until I told him there were other sightings. He was relieved to hear that and told me that it made him feel just a little less crazy. On November 1st, 1966, he was on duty and saw a human-sized figure perched in a tree just above the fence bordering the Point Pleasant Engineer Battalion Headquarters. It was too dark to make out any fine details, but it was unmistakably a man-shaped figure. He left to get his partner, but when they returned, the creature was gone. According to my timeline, this is possibly the first sighting of the Mothman. All right. So these are, the game is recounting like the actual sightings from the mid to late 60s of Mothman, which is pretty cool. They're staying pretty truthful to the lore, which is nice. Oh, there's a furnace here? Oh, what? There's something inside of the furnace. Okay. I don't know what's inside of it. Oh, we need a fuse. The fuse need to be replaced. What does this say? Hey, Joe, the furnace door sticks. Turning the fire on loosens it up. The valves have been blank lately in order to turn. You'll want to, in a specific order, turn then this. Okay, what do I have here? Moon key. So wasn't there a, wasn't there like a box or a moon key opening place upstairs? I think so. Uh, am I going to be able to... No, I can't open that door. These are the valves? Okay, how do I know what's right? What order? They all sound a little different. Does it have something to do with sound? Okay, I feel like I don't have enough information to figure this out right now. Maybe we should just try to go use this key upstairs, plus the basement's creeping me the hell out. I think we're gonna go try to use this key upstairs in the place I think it goes, and then we're gonna see the how the power's off so the house was dark i was like did the house get darker but no it's just because i'm in the basement then we're gonna go see if we can figure out this puzzle down here i'm scared though i feel like i'm getting near the end of the demo and something's gonna happen i don't know why i just i think it's coming up out of the darkness that's freaking me out ah! what the fuck was that holy shit holy shit that was mothman that was Mothman, dude. We know exactly what that was. You know what that was. You've read the notebooks, you son of a bitch. Oh my God, I just scared the shit out of myself. Oh, he's outside. He's outside. Mothman is outside. I repeat, we got problems. We got problems, dude. I gotta go outside, right? For science? For science. I know this is a dumb idea. We have to go check, right? Hello? Mothman? Mothman? 
Are you in the sky? Oh my god, I have chills. Fuck this shit, dude. I don't want you to hypnotize me. Can I get in my truck and get the giggity giggity fuck out? Oh, the ambience is, uh, is, is notched up incredibly high now. Oh my god. All right, I guess upstairs to the key thing. Holy shit, dude. I was not ready for that. Oh my god. Not ready at all. Okay, we're just gonna pretend like none of that ever fucking happened. We're just gonna go back over here. We're gonna use the key. Okay, it's not in my room. Was it in the bathroom? I forgot where this is fucking at, dude. Oh, it was. It's right here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the key, right? Use moon key. What is this? Some kind of laundry chute? Oh, this says pipes from the outside. Oh, God. Oh, I see the furnace right there. Two furnace. Oh, so this is a diagram. And then that's the pipe. The red circles are the pipes on the map. So if you follow the line from the outside going in. I don't know. From the furnace, it should be pipe. Do I go from the furnace or from the outside? I don't know. I think it's three, two, five, one, four. If I'm looking at it closer, I think it's pipe three, then pipe two, one, five, four. Three, two, one, five, four. It's a shame that I can't take that with me, but we got to go back downstairs and try out my theory now. Three, two, five, one, four. Three, two, five, one, four. We got this, guys. Ain't no thing. Ain't no problem. No problemo, dude. All right. We got to get back downstairs. Fuck, man. Mothman's outside. I went outside, tried to find him. Couldn't find him. He's wandering around somewhere there. I'm just going to leave that door open. I don't think he can fit in. He can't fit through. He's too big. He's too fucking big. Screw Mothman, dude. He doesn't know what he's doing. All right. Back down. God, it is so dark down here. It's unsettling. Which way was the furnace? The furnace was this way, right? So what did I say? Wait, I think I, I, wait, I think I, I th okay, it was three, two. Five, one, four, right? Was that right? I'm trying to picture the diagram in my head. Fuck, I turned my flashlight off. Holy shit, that was loud, dude. What is this? Small moon. Small moon. Does that go? Can I open this door now? No, the small moon is not. Does that go outside in the gazebo? That's the only other place I haven't opened. I think that goes outside in the gazebo. Okay. Um, sure. I don't want to go outside, though. Mothman was out there. He was peering in through the windows at me. This is fucked, dude. This is it. This is it. Mothman's gonna come down. He's gonna hypnotize us. We're gonna black out and he's gonna fucking eat us. I'm calling it right now, dude. I wish my flashlight was better. Oh, Mr. Moth... Thing, alien, creature, cryptid, bitch. Please be nice. I just need to get to the gazebo, dude. Everything else should be fine. Oh, uh, it's right there. We got this. Is there another house back there? I see another house out back by the gazebo. Oh, God! Oh, no! It's Mothman! Run! Get the fuck out! Not today, Satan! I'm leaving. I'm getting the hell out, dude. I'm getting the hell out. Screw this shit. You're not getting me. I ain't going out like my dad. Get inside. Run, 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 run. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. Oh, my God. Did I make it? What? I'm gonna ring that just in case that does anything. I don't know if it does. Does it alert the townspeople? Get your pitchforks. What is happening, dude? He just disappeared, I guess. I have to go back out there, though. I have the moon puzzle thing. Oh, this is such a bad idea, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it anyway. I'm going. It's all good. I got this. I feel like my flashlight Mothman doesn't work. It's so dark. He was terrorizing everyone in Point Pleasant, including me, including my dad. I needed to get the hell out of there. 
damn straight we need to get the hell out of here uh do i just uh, uh okay wait where did i get the other two moon pieces oh they must have came with the the key the moon key things that i picked up screwdriver and a tape caleb you always hated my interest in the paranormal it's why i don't pick up the phone to tell you about all the things happening in our town i have reason to believe people are in danger they are trying to tell me something. Something really bad is about to happen, but I can't quite figure it out. I'll admit it's driving me up the wall. I wish I wasn't a failure to you. Please just trust me. Under the starlit sky, the cowboy sings. <laughs>